Hi guys, I'm David with MediaUnlock.net, and today we're gonna to be talking about the Think Tank Urban Approach 15. Now, if you guys have seen the first video I put out where I kind of talk about how I use this as a professional photographer and where I like to use it, um, you guys know that I absolutely love this bag. If you haven't seen that video, you can click on the card right here. So today we're just gonna kind of walk through and show you all the pockets and kind of how they're used and just the bag in general. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the sides. Right here on the sides, this is great for putting business cards and that's kind of what I do is I just throw some business cards over to the side. Um, as well, I keep my checkbook on this side over here, more business cards or papers. So it's really nice. You also have pieces to, uh, to hook in any kind of lighting or any, anything that you'd wanna hook into here with a carabine. As well, this could be a tripod piece. So if you wanna stick your tripod here and have it setting straight up like here, you can also put your tripod on this side of the bag. Um, just to kind of show you the back of the bag, we've got a lot of padding on our shoulders and the back as we walk. So again, this is one of my most favorite and used bags I've definitely gotten from Think Tank. One of, that, one of the reasons being is that I take my laptop wherever I go and I just upgraded to a 15 inch laptop and I wanted to have room to also have a camera and some other accessories with me at all times. So if we notice right here, we can unzip this back piece right here that folds back like this and we have room for a laptop. Now, if we set the laptop aside, we also have room for an iPad or some kind of tablet. I just keep a mouse pad in there. So it's very nice. Um, I also can fit in my 13 inch MacBook Pro. I wouldn't necessarily suggest it, but you could fit a second laptop in the back of this bag if you needed to. So let's throw this on the front. Actually, let's look right at the front. Um, you also have a pocket right here in the front. And I just keep my adapter for my MacBook Pro that allows me to hook in USB, another USB-C, SD card, stuff like that. Um, this is another little pocket that you could put numerous things into, um, but I just keep my little adapter. Now, if we go to the front of the bag, right here, we have two pockets where I keep various amounts of stuff in each pocket. As well, we have all this room right here. Now all this stuff can be adjusted as needed. Um, right now I just have some cleaning cloths. I have, I have a lot of room right here where I could put another divider. I could put lenses. I have a, a lot of options I can do. I actually don't use up all the room in this bag because I really don't have a need to use up all the room, but it, it is there if I need it. So I just have some cleaning stuff here. I keep a power bank wherever I go, a small little power bank. Um, I have a little thing of mints here, uh, empty pocket here. We keep SD cards and uh, USB um, thumb drives in here. I got some paperwork here. Um, as well as you guys can see, I have my A7 III, Sony A7 III. Of course, charging cables here, mouse here. And then if I wanted to, I could honestly put the A7R3, which is what we're shooting on today, and I could actually put that right in here if I wanted to with like the 28 millimeter lens. So as you guys can see, this bag has a lot of room. Um, for some people, this is going to be the only camera bag they're gonna need. They're literally gonna use it as a camera bag. Unfortunately, I have so much camera equipment depending on what shoot I'm doing. I need something larger than this for some of my bigger shoots. But on a day-to-day -day basis, this is literally for me the perfect bag. Um, this is what I take to the coffee shop. I'm always able to have a body with me if I want it. Um, any, any accessories that I have here. And as you guys can see on a day-to-day -day basis, I still have a lot of extra room to add stuff as needed. So I'm very happy with this bag. Um, again, this is the Urban Approach 15. You guys should definitely check it out. Of course, as always, there'll be a link at the end of this video. Thanks for stopping in and checking the bag out. We'll catch you next time. If you guys have made it this far, if you want to check out our newest video, it will be right here. If you want to check out the product, it will be down here. If you do happen to click on it and purchase it, it does give us a little bit of commission and that helps me a lot keep making these videos. And of course, guys, right down below, go and leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, follow along. We'll catch you next time.